I'm going to show you two variations here. And they're very simple. We'll do a side choke too because the way I do the side choke, same thing as an arm triangle, is the same way I do a daisy popper. I'm going to neck crank you and choke you at the same time by putting my shoulder onto your neck and driving your head off like you're a kid with a daisy, flicking the top off. So that's what we call it, daisy popper. Okay, like pop. Right? That's what I want you to think about. It's a visualization, right? But again, if I wrap my arm around his head, mount retention. I can't lose top position. Okay, we're both heavyweights. I gotta be smart here. So when I wrap quickly, that goes there. I'm gonna end up grape binding both legs, but this is a must right now. Otherwise, I'm not going any further. Okay, I try to get this nice and deep. Now, before I go any further, I drop my shoulder down the sternum. And I start driving up under the chin and grab the top of the head and get to the bicep, pull it all down. Now I double grapevine, squeeze, and then there's an extension with everything, right? Very carefully, I start to drive up, okay? Do you guys understand what's happening? I'm holding his head down. I, this is one I always joke about called reverse, chin, reverse the head tilt chin lift, reverse CPR, we'll put him back to sleep. Because a good neck crank is a slow choke. So you got that big neck too, so it's hard to get underneath here, but we can still get it, all right? So again, I landed. As soon as I wrap my left arm, mount retention. Kill that leg, or I'm gone, man. I got nothing. Drop your shoulder down to the sternum and start pulling that head up. And drive up till you catch it. Open the head and come in tight. Now I double grip, and I, I slipped off a little bit, didn't I? I slipped a little bit, right? So I'm gonna make sure that cutting mode is up. And I'm gonna drive straight through. Okay? Pretty simple, yeah? yeah? Watch how you do it with the side choke. Not much of a difference, you okay? Hmm? So for me to set up a side choke, what I do is I put my hands here. And they always want to chop my arms and do things like that or whatever, I'm not too worried about that. But one arm in, one arm out. If both my arms are down and I know the direction that I'm gonna go, I'll grapevine that side and wait for the arms to start moving. Usually they chop that arm. As soon as they do that, I push this across and come down. Lift the head, and I'm here. My head has to now touch his head to compromise. Gene, pull your arm out of there. It's gonna, it's gonna come right out. Now watch this little difference. I'm gonna put my head on his head, not pull your arm out. Does it feel like I'm squeezing it all? Mm -hmm. Just compromising, guys. But here's that power choke grip. It's gonna be your best friend on this one. His defense now is to bridge to his right. So I'm gonna dismount right here. You okay? Mm -hmm. My toe is not on the mat, because then the mat is carrying me. My elbow goes into the ribs, my head goes down, I flex, and remember how I drove before through? I drive through the neck. Yeah. You feel the choke and the crank. Yeah, it's brutal. I don't want one submission. I want them tapping from, they don't even know what they're tapping from because there's too many submissions going on. Okay, because then we know we're doing all right. They get hurt everywhere. Okay, so that's all I want you guys to do. We hit the mount, mount retention. Okay, first one is your daisy. Let me use Dale on this so I can really go under his neck. I want you to see some. He needs a neck adjustment. <laughs> Dale may be, he may be made of steel. I'm not sure yet. We were just talking about that because this dude, I don't want to jinx you. But. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> so eventually I have to double grapevine. Yes? But when I start, that's how I have to start. Lift it, make it nice and tight. Now drop. And you can pull the head up when you do it. But look how I'm getting under his chin. You see it? It's, you can see a little better now, right? Then this arm comes over nice and tight. Double grapevine. Stay tight. I haven't extended anything yet. I close all that space down, and then I extend a little bit. There's your daisy popper. You guys tracking on that? Pretty simple, yeah? Combine your neck crank with a choke. For the side choke, even from this position here, I'm already there. But I gotta go head to head. If I'm here, get your arm out. I'm gonna use my neck muscle, go. Beat me. Beat me, there you go, he wins. But watch, now go. It's just not gonna happen. There's no strength there. It's like trying to do the push down on the, on the tricep in your stack with your arms up by your head. It doesn't wanna go. You compromise the joint. So as soon as I hit this in the side choke, my head goes ear to ear, power choke grip. That way I can flex and pull everything in. But before I even dismount, guys, I'm gonna take my shoulder, nice and low, and get under his chin. Now I step off to block his hip because his defense is to roll away. Elbow goes to the body, toes off the ground, so the weight's on him. Flex, pull, and drive. Okay? Because what do you see on this a lot? 
is guys will do the same thing as an arm triangle, guys. We all know that. But you'll see this grip. The problem is this is fat and muscle. It's very slippery. So it's not that great. Plus a heavyweight, you ain't getting this grip anyways. You'll see guys use this one. I've used this one before. And the old lines didn't tough. They'll, they'll say, well, they would say chest to the mat. They'd say it differently, but chest to the mat. And there's a way of doing it, of coming out this way. And it will work sometimes. But I have much greater success with this right here, closing all this space down, getting underneath, coming here, squeezing my forearm, toes off, and driving. And you'll make, this is, I, there was a kid from Maryland who was from a, a school not too far, I don't wanna to talk too much, couldn't be choked. His black belt instructors put geese on him, there was something different about him. And I don't know what it was, and he came to a lesson with me as, as a friend. And I, I'm, I'm not the greatest at geese, but I'm pretty good. You're better than I am at geese, there's no doubt about it, but I tell you what, he would've frustrated you. Because there's just something about the way he was built. His coach has never once called him in a geek choke. And he's got a second or third degree black belt coach, a high level guy out of, uh, I think it's, I don't remember which it was the school, but the only way I was able to make him tap was that right there. And I, guys, I put everything in it. I mean, it was a neck crank from Satan's bottom. I pushed my whole body. I thought his head was going to come off. And you know what he says? I think he got it. It wasn't even a tap, man. He's like, I think you got it. And I'm like, man, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go practice, right? Anyways, make it hurt, right? That's what we say. You callous in your body. You're really not going to get hurt on a neck crank. You're not. But tap when you feel it, okay? Dig your shoulder, huh? You got to get mean, right? You got to get mean, boot. So you take your shoulder, dig underneath. There's chin. Head tilt, chin lift. Close everything down and take their head and drive it straight off their body. Even on the side choke. Okay, so we're gonna hit those two submissions from the mount, and that's about all I got. And we'll do some question and answer as a team, me and me and the professor. Does that sound good for today? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And it leaves a lot of energy for tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. All right, cool. So uh, let's get it done. Let's go.